Hi guys. Just uh, a little problem I've been having with the front of me, me uh, interior lights. Um, when it rains and I get water on these guys, which you shouldn't do, but it happens. Uh, what happens is um, me door light says that it's open, or it comes on to say that my doors are open when they're not. And this guy here on the driver's side is the most uh, is the one that's causing that problem. Uh, even though it works in the dry quite fine, it doesn't. Um, it's not happy in the wet. So I'm going to take it off today and uh, have a look on the inside. The passenger side doesn't work at all. So I'm just going to take it off and um, see if there's a part number or something there as well. Uh, see if it's a simple fix or if it's something that I need to replace. I'm just going to see if I can get the camera here. In a position. Yeah, that should do it. It's a ten mil bolt. So it is there, it's just 10 mil bolt. Let's get it out from under here. There's not a lot of not a lot of play there to work with. Uh, it looks like it's been repaired once before. Let's show you in there. Put the cable tie wrapped around it there. Kind of tells me that it's been played with once before. Let's get this rubber off there. Okay. It's definitely not something that clips on and off. Maybe. It did once upon a time, but not right now. So, um, see if I can get this further apart, and then I'll start recording again. Alrighty, so I can't pull it apart. I've tried to take it off here, and I can't. I just wanted to show you: is, is you've got a red wire for white line, and a black wire and a black wire, um, but if you put a multimeter to both of them, <coughs> both wires read a 12 volt power source. Good contact there. <coughs> so uh, what happens is um, the light doesn't actually work until you bolt it back in and it gets its earth from when you bolt it back in. So both those wires inside are active. Oh, it's, a, it's a negative feed switch so it's not dangerously active if you know what I mean. It's kind of like this earth out and that's how it triggers the switch. Uh, I don't know the part number for this so um, I'll show you. I'll just show you the measurement. So from the switch itself on the outer to the very end, that's uh, two mil short of two inches. I you guys can see that. Try to get so, yeah, that was that. 25, 6, about 28 mil long, and from this point here, about an inch and a half, that's uh, 
15, 19 mil from the base there. On the other side here, put the bolts against the body there. You're looking at 16 mil. Lengthwise here, looking at 20, about 22 mil. And the shaft that comes out there, you're looking at about, and say about 11 mil, shy of, it's just shy of 12 mil. Uh, I'll see if I can find a um, part for this and put it in my description. And you can hear my kids playing in the background there, bit of added sound to the footage. That's pretty much about it. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to WD-40 to switch up areas where I can get into. Try and lube it up a little bit. Don't have me a little straw that connects to it anymore. So I'm just trying to lube this switch up and see if that fixes my problem. And I'll do to the other side the same. Could be the, the other side not working at all. Could just simply be that I need to re-earth the, the bolt, but I'll fill it up with WD as well. See how we go from there. It's about all I can show you for now. Um, whether it works or not for the other side just means I'll have to replace the switch. Uh, this is just a rundown of um, the switch how it works, power source and size. Alright, thanks for watching. Alrighty, well, continuation. This is the passenger side. Uh, I already said thanks for watching, but um, I didn't think the passenger side would be any different. So what we've got here is the passenger side only has one wire, not two. So that's um, very good to know if you're going to repl replace this side. You don't, want get the, you don't want to get the one for the driver side because you need just a one wire connection not two now this here is um actually got a part number on it as well if i can zoom in on that i don't think i can you see c29 and a number two on it the other side didn't have any numbers on it so i don't know what the reason for that is so I'm just going to spray this one up with WD-40. I've had, I've had problems with this one not working. I'm going to spray this one up with WD-40. And if, um, if it starts working, then awesome. If not, then I'll have to replace it. And the, the measurements would be exactly the same as the opposite side. Okay, once again, thanks for watching. And until uh, next time.